Gilbert Arenas needs to get off my lawn. This week, Timberwolves center Rudy Gobert missed a playoff matchup against the Nuggets for the birth of his first child. This drew criticism from former NBA All-Star Gilbert Arenas, who said, it's a baby, bro. It's going to be there when you get back. Now, when the fruit hangs this low, I have to grab it. Gilbert, you missed 50 games at the height of your career for pulling a gun on a teammate over a gambling dispute. You're in no position to criticize someone else for missing games, especially not for the birth of their child. Now, get off my lawn values fairness. So I feel compelled to mention that Agent Zero did donate $100 to local schools for every home point he scored during the 2006 season. But he is off target here. The three most important days of my life were the days my children were born. That experience changes you as a human being. It changes you as a man. And it's not just about being there for your child, but for your wife who is bringing life into this world. Sometimes circumstances dictate that guys cannot be present. Many men serve our country overseas. They're unable to get home. Some pregnancies end prematurely and timing is a factor. But what's most important is making your family a priority. And in no other profession is this even a conversation. If Bob the billionaire, CEO, stayed at the office while his wife gave birth across the street, that would be met with a negative response. Why should the standard be different for professional athletes? Now, I am of the opinion that after your kid is born, it's time to get to work and provide for them. I cannot support this six months of paternity leave mentality that so many share today. And hopefully we won't see anything like that from Rudy Gobert, because right now I have more respect for the man. The same goes for Scotty Scheffler, who said last month he would withdraw from the Masters if his wife went into labor. We need more superstars like this who have established values, guys who understand their children leave longer legacies than trophies and redemption for missing that moment cannot be found in a stat line. So Gilbert Arenas, for today at least, you have to get off my lawn. Mm, beautiful, David. Facts, Dad. Beautiful. And, you know, it's. I think this speaks to a bigger problem. I think Gilbert Arenas encapsulates what's wrong with society right now in the breaking up of the nuclear family because you act like a child being born is no big deal. Like it's more important than a basketball game. Are you kidding me? And then we wonder why so many of these, these, the youth nowadays go out and the crime rate's incredible and they have no direction. It's because guys like Gilbert Arenas think that a basketball game is more important than the birth of a child. Now, I don't have a child yet. We're working on it right now. But at the end of the day, I don't care if on this show the president was coming on or Michael Jordan was coming on or LeBron James was coming on. If my wife gives birth, I'm going to be there not only for that child, but for her. So to Gilbert Arenas, your priorities are messed up. And like you said, your dumb ass is the one that pulled a gun on one of your teammates. So I don't <laughs> want any life advice from Gilbert Arenas. Rudy Gobert is three times the man that Gilbert Arenas will ever be. There's a reason why you didn't win it, buddy. And Rudy Gobert, I think, just won his fourth Defensive Player of the Year award. And the Timberwolves won the game that he wasn't there. So Gilbert Arenas, shut up and go keep being racist. Uh, should, we should play the video at least, though. Do we have Gilbert Arenas saying this? Because my question this for you clowns is, like, I wonder, is there a part of this that was tongue-in-cheek, or is this just how Gilbert Arenas No, if you is? see what he said about white guys in the NBA, it's that Gilbert Arenas reaches for clicks because he's not relevant anymore. The only time he really was relevant is when he pulled a gun on his teammate. Let's let's go ahead and play this clip. You're missing but, this game for that baby. I see you. It's the baby, bro. It's going to be there when you get back. We yeah. hope. Yeah. <laughs> Right. We hope. I mean, God, I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. I'm just, no, I'm just saying. The baby Un gonna be okay, trusty. but unnecessary. The baby gonna. It, it don't know. It, whatever you about to think you about to do with the baby, he gonna be asleep. Need that right. skin to skin sleep. contact. Okay, yeah, he skin right to skin in two days. <laughs> right on the titty. The whole time, right on the titty. What you saying? We need some milk. Look, I get, I get. You want to be with your wife and smile and stuff, and your good uh, NBA uh, health care insurance. Right. It's because of you playing. Right. Trust me, they got everything. That's uh <laughs> What a clown. Such a low resolution explanation. What a clown. The birth of your kid to me. Yeah. That's just, not good. Yeah. Just an absolute we hope. The fact that's, that they're up there all laughing about it. Too, yeah, it's just, that what a clown show. People want and people wonder why. People wonder why. But, but seriously, would you ever see this in another profession? No. Never. Never. Like and it's not and and it could still be rich people. That's why I said like a billionaire Fortune 500. CEO. Like, dude, it, it, I mean, if anything, I ought to be there. Like for my wife. Yeah. Like for, 
It just goes to show you how stupid some people in, in, uh, just are. It, it's the truth. And I'd say that to your face. I don't care if you're 6'6", six, six, dog. I don't care. I promise you. I went to Opelika like High School, buddy. I ain't afraid of you. Hey, YouTube, you like college football? You like the NFL? You like sports in general? Well, you're going to love this. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please keep sharing the show. We really appreciate it.